Yokoso peeps, it's Oz. Welcome to 2016. Happy New Year! I think it's been over two weeks since I've seen everyone. I hope you had a good holiday season. So let's get back to business. Today's video is gonna have three parts. Part one, I'm gonna be talking about my highlights and my lowlights of 2015. Part two, I'm gonna be telling you what I hope to accomplish for 2016. And part three, the most exciting, I'm gonna be announcing the winners of the Gaijin pack and the Japanese pack from my Ask Oz video contest. So let's begin. To tell you the truth, 2015 wasn't a good year for me. As much as I want to focus on the positive, 2015 had a very big shock for me. My friend, Pat, who I became friends with when I first came to Japan. We were close, and we lived in Nagoya, and we hung out for about four years. I even lived with him for a few months while I was between jobs. I went to his wedding in Chicago, and after I moved to Canada, and then Hokkaido, he was in Chicago, and we didn't really talk so much. Maybe a Facebook message here or there. In March, I found out he had been battling cancer for about a year, and three or four days after I found out he was sick, he passed away. I didn't really talk to him for the last couple of years of his life, and I didn't even know he was sick. And yeah, it was just, uh, it, was, it hit me really hard. But it did give me a big push to live life, enjoy every moment, and appreciate everyone around me. So yeah, the year started out pretty down, but I have to focus on the positive. So here's some of the highlights. I did get to see a lot of Japan this year, especially since I was on a TV show called Tokoro-sa no Nippon no Deban. And I was on about, I don't know, five or six episodes. And each time I got to go to a different place around Japan and see the sights. Aside from traveling with the TV show, I also did a little traveling of my own around Japan. I went to Yokohama and Enoshima Island. I went to Nikko. I went to Kyoto with my cousin Anel. I even went snowboarding for the first time. Traveling around Japan actually gave me a lot more interest in Japan and Japanese culture. But at the same time, it also made me homesick. So in 2015, at the very end, right after I finished the last episode of Ask Oz, I went to Canada, to Toronto, to my hometown. I could see my friends and family that I haven't seen in a while, and I could enjoy some of the stuff that I missed from Toronto. I'll make another video about that another time. In terms of YouTube, I had a lot of bad luck in the beginning of the year. My computer crashed. So a lot of the videos in the beginning of the year were made using my iPhone. However, most of the money that I got from the TV show, I used to buy a new computer. Then my camera that I was using for so many years to make videos on YouTube got splashed by a whale. And although I didn't have a lot of cash, I decided to use my credit card and I bought a really nice camera. And right after that, my iPhone cracked and it died. I was phoneless for a while, but thanks to my friend Victor, or Kanto Kitsune, he let me borrow his smartphone he wasn't using. I think the biggest change in my YouTube was I left full screen the network and I joined Yummy Japan the network. For the two years that I've been with full screen, I didn't get much contact from them, I didn't get any help from them, and I just felt like they were just taking money from me for no reason. And although Yemi Japan is a new network, I'm still learning the ropes, um, I feel like they do pay attention to my channel more, and they are trying to figure out ways to help my channel grow. I felt like this year was a good stepping stone to try to build a foundation for my future. Speaking of future, let's talk about this year, 2016. Like most people, I always make New Year's resolutions and I fail 99.9% .9 of them. And this year is probably not going to be any different, but I thought I'd make them anyway. The first thing is I want to lose weight. I say that every year and I lose a little bit, but then I gain it all back by the end of the year. So this year, not only do I want to lose weight, I want to keep it off. I want to change my diet and eat more like vegetables and fruits and natural foods. I want to cook some more. I want to do some exercise and not just give up after a couple of months, but just build it into my lifestyle so I can naturally and slowly lose the weight. Number two is I want to learn Japanese and I don't mean just like survival Japanese or like Japanese that I speak right now that I can just get by. I want to officially learn Japanese, possibly go to a Japanese school and uh, maybe even take the JLPT test. I want to definitely better my YouTube channel and by that I don't mean just like get more views and become more popular on YouTube but I mean I want to make better content, better quality. Um, I want to improve my editing, I want to improve my speaking skills, and just, yeah, make better videos so more people can enjoy them. I want to go to more onsens. I don't really like hot water or naked men, but sitting in an onsen in hot water and enjoying like the Japanese garden views they have, and just 
sitting and relaxing and thinking about life just really, really relaxes me. And last, something that I haven't been able to do for many, many years is I want to be able to save some money. There's always something that goes wrong in my life and requires a lot of money, or there's always some kind of job change or apartment change or city change that always sucks all the savings that I had. But I hope this year runs a little bit more smoothly and allows me to save a lot more money. Whew. All right, done with the serious stuff. On with the contest. So originally I was only gonna give away one Japanese pack to one of those people. However, thanks to my friend and fellow YouTuber, KG79, he was kind enough to donate a Japanese pack as well. So I'll be choosing one winner for the Gaijin pack and two winners for the Japanese pack. So for the Gaijin pack, these are the list of people that I've entered. I wrote their names in small little pieces of paper. I'm gonna put them in there. And I'm gonna choose one for the Gaijin pack. So the winner of the Gaijin pack is... Akaito 59. Akaito 59, I'm gonna send you a Gaijin pack. All right, and for the Japanese pack, here are all the people who entered. There's a lot of you guys. So the number one winner of the Japanese pack, uh, winner number one is Kyle DeWitt. Kyle DeWitt, yay, you're the first winner. And the second winner, thanks to KG79, check out his channel and his videos. We just made a video about English teaching on his channel, so check that out. He, thanks to him, the second winner of the Japanese pack is Win, Vin, Vintario, Vintario. Congratulations, Vintario. You're gonna be getting a Japanese pack, yay. So congratulations to those three winners. I'm gonna be sending you a message and then I'll get your address so we can send out the packages to you. For everyone else, thanks for entering and supporting. Um, you guys are all winners in my book. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video. Stay tuned this year because I'm gonna be making a lot more Ask Oz videos and STD videos and other random videos about Japan and traveling and my life. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my videos because they're awesome. Aussie awesome. Take care and see you soon.